All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Uh, my name is Gloria. I'm from the GetCoin events team, and I wanted to take a moment to go over um, some of the ideation and um, team matching resources that are available to you. So uh, this afternoon, I'll probably go over like what would help you um, be a, a more empowered participant uh, in this hackathon. And um, the first thing we'll we can start with is the ideation. Um, ideation is just coming up with the ideas for projects to work on during this hackathon. Uh, and I know that the challenges and the categories haven't been um, released yet. So if I was participating in the hackathon, one of the ways that I would start to think about the project I would want to build would be to go past uh, go look in the past and look at uh, past winners and what their projects were so I have a better understanding of the time amount um, and what was be able to be built in that amount of time um, so I can have a better scope around uh, what is being built. And so in order to look at the past winners, uh, you can see them kind of listed uh, on the um, Algorand Discord um, Algrand on Twitter released a um, a link to all their winners, and they have a really good post about it. And so, um, if you go into the Algrand Discord, you can actually find uh, that tweet. But I will pull it up here and kind of share with you. Um, and this was a really good, helpful way to look at like who, what were the past categories, and what are the um, what were the winning prizes of those categories? So let me pull it up right now. So as you can see, uh, Al Ground had made a post uh, about the past winners and um, what's that for? And the different challenges uh, that they had and what were the winning ones. So they had like a gaming challenge, um, and they had a DAO challenge, they had a BYOP challenge. Um, an interoperability challenge or still found NFT challenges. These may or may not be the same challenges that we're going to face within this um, greenhouse hacks the second time, but it's just a really good way to kind of see what worked some of the past ideas and past winners. Um, from there, I would just kind of look at them up on GitHub and see, like, you know, what was it that they kind of had to um, go over. Um, so that's a good way to get like general categories um, and to start thinking about like what uh, might work. Uh, another thing that works also is um, just going over uh, like what is some some type of need within the ecosystem that you're looking for or that you wish was uh, created and then seeing if when you um, build that type of need, if there is a challenge that uh, aligns with that as well. Uh, for the next part of uh, ideation, um, you it gets to the point where you want to like kind of sh um, share with like different people like what you're thinking about building and uh, who you are as a person, and that can go really well within the team making uh, matching section. And so there is an area uh, on Gitcoin when you're onboarding where it will direct you to um, team building or team matching. And that is uh, on the onboarding page. You can click to the team formation link. And so I'll walk you through that right now as well. Let's see if I can pull it up. Um, let's see if I can find it. Okay, so on the team for me, or on the um, onboarding page, when you sign up, you can join the Discord. If you scroll down a little bit on the onboarding page, um, it will allow you to join the Discord or take you to the team formation. Uh, when you get to team formation, it should take you to a Notion page that will um, allow you to see both the team formation and the matching submissions. So if you go to the form, 
you'd be filling out this form and tell us a little bit about yourself, what you're into, uh, what's your skill set, your project ideas, if you have any, and then a brief introduction about yourself. Um, and then if you go, go back to the team matching one, you'll be able to see all of the submissions currently uh, for team matching, uh, what people uh, wrote for About Me, their skill sets, um, and what they're possibly thinking about building. And this is really helpful uh, for you when you're thinking about looking for a team or um, coming up with the joining an ex existing team. Um, it, all this information is here, and then you can reach out to the people on Discord from using the Discord links too. Uh, so this is always a good starting spot to see like if there's anything, uh, anyone there that you click with or are interested in, then you just reach out, send them a DM on Discord and talk about um, joining their team or um, things of that nature. Uh, I think like a well-rounded team always has people that are builders. They also have people who are like business minded. Um, they also have problem solvers. So don't think that your skill set um, is not needed. It's always needed on a good team. And um, if it's something that you're interested in, you can always learn from building the project and joining a team. So uh, yeah, from there, um, I would probably say, sorry, let me see. I get, apparently, let me see if I can get it up on the Discord link that opens up. Hold on one second. I just realized now that it might not have took it to. Yeah. So from there, it would go to this Notion page, and I'll show it to you one more time. Yeah, from here, it would go to this Notion page um, that you would see all of the submissions, um, the people who are looking for teams, uh, the different areas of interest that they're into, um, their skill set, and what they're currently thinking about uh, working on, um, and also a little bit about themselves. So when you're looking for teammates, make sure you check this Notion page and add to this Notion page as well. Um, you can add to the Notion page by going to the team formation section. Um, the matching form is where you would, again, uh, put in your information about team matching. And then on the back side of it, or the back inside of it, is the submissions where you'll find everyone's submissions. So um, you get there from going straight from the onboarding page. So hopefully that helps uh, from there. Uh, lastly, is if you do get stuck, you can also um, you can also good morning, Gamma. Good morning, uh, you can also um, reach out on Discord, like and put your ideas in Discord. A lot of times, what I've seen in the past is that when you're in Discord, um, people will um, they will like discuss a little bit more uh, around your topic and you'll get a lot of great feedback uh, from that so let's see yeah the link to the so this will take you to the onboarding page but again when you go to the onboarding page i'm going to show share my screen one more time just so i could show you where how to get to the um submissions on that page hold on one moment okay. so when you get to uh the onboarding page, it's gonna look like this. You scroll down a little bit and it gives you some information about the hackathon. You have the join the Discord and the team formation. And if you click the team formation page, that's what will take you to the Notion links that will have um, the uh, team formation and the submission form. Also on this onboarding page, it actually has a lot of really great resources. Um, it does have the schedule of events all there so you can put them into your own calendar. But it also has developer resources that you can utilize as you are learning 
um, if you're learning Pytil or you want some insight into Algorand's developer portal, um, anything else like that, we have a whole bunch of developer resources that are accessible to you. So hopefully that helps. Okay. Um, awesome. And then uh, the last one I was saying was um, dropping your idea in, um, in Discord is actually really helpful. Um, a lot of times people uh, check Discord before they check the submissions video. And so you can um, get some feedback from the rest of the community uh, there um, from hearing about what your idea is. It's a good place to like discuss it and find other teammates that way. So you can either start a thread around your idea or just post it uh, in Discord and see how people uh, respond back. Uh, last but not least, this is the first of the team matching iteration um, ideation sessions, and there'll be another one uh, a little bit closer to the hackathon. I believe the date of it is on the 25th of September. So if you feel like, um, don't worry about if you haven't found a team before the hackathon, there are a lot of people signing up currently, and there'll be another ideation session in about two weeks. So um, just continue to like work and flesh out your plan, um, share it with other people. It might help form a, a better idea or give you a good starting point. And then in the next ideation session um, and teammate matchmaking, you can continue to uh, come up, share your ideas and uh, talk with the rest of the community about what you're thinking and how your approach would be. Um, I feel that a lot of times the ease of a hackathon or a hackathon project is done better when you um, have a good um, way to think out what you're going to be building for, you know, a good amount of time, and then go ahead and build it. Um, then, if you attempt to build it and weren't able to think it out, I think a lot of times you run into roadblocks um, later that you would have foreseen if you were able to talk it with other people um, if you had some time around it. So. So that's how I recommend doing um, team matching and ideation in order to be successful during this hackathon. Um, it's, it's especially helpful if you're new or if you don't work with an existing team, just finding um, people that you connect with is really uh, helpful and people that want to build things that you like to build. So if you're really into building you know, chat bots or building a chat uh, thing, then you want to align with other people who are building chat things. Sometimes you want to align with people who um, are using the same technology that you know, or like, you know, it depends if you want to be the one who is like the uh, expert <laughs> in what you're dealing with, or if you're wanting to learn um, the way you create your team dynamics is kind of up to you. Um, I don't think there's like a great way or a bad way to build a team. You know, it's all about the experience overall and learning with each other. So, um, the winning a prize is just an added bonus, but uh, I think uh, overall is the knowledge that you gain and the fact that you created something um, out of your mind, out of you know, coming up with an idea and then actually having a product at the end is always a huge success. So kudos to you all there. Uh, if you ever have any questions around ideation or team building or team matching at all, um, you can always reach out to me. My DMs are open. Or you can uh, tag me in, a, in Discord, and I'll be more than happy to um, either like run another session or come out and uh, help you out in any type of way. So uh, that is it for this presentation. Um, if you do have any questions, yeah, reach out and ping me. If not, then you can join us for our next session. Uh, Joe is going to be going over, or there's a couple sessions. Um, today, tomorrow, and on Friday, on, or I'm sorry, on Saturday, on um, setting up your developer environment. And so if you need help with that, um, I would encourage you all to join us um, over the next uh, three days, and we'll be going um, over those sessions. Tomorrow's session will be setting up your developer environment in English. Um, and then on Friday, it's the session on Develop, uh, setting up your developer environment in Spanish. And then on Saturday, it's uh, setting up your developer environment in Hindi. Um, but again, the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the um, schedule is listed on uh, the onboarding page on, on 
Bitcoin um, on the hackathon page. So yeah, I always need help or I, I needed help before setting up the developer environment. I think it's something that it's like a little security blanket if other people are doing it too. Uh, like I think I could do it on my own. I, I've done it on my own before, but I just like doing it with other people so that if other people get stuck, you know, we can all help each other and it makes it a lot more fun. So if you're gonna need help, you know, come and see us Thursday, Friday or Saturday, join one of those sessions um, or reach out to some of the people uh, in Discord, like Joe, Everett, and um, I can't remember who else is uh, leading the Hindi one, but they'll be there to help you as well in setting it all up. Um, and then when we have the sessions, there'll be people who can answer questions too during that time. So. All right, well, I am gonna go ahead and close the session and you can reach me on Discord. Uh, if not, I wish you all the best. Continue to fill out the forms and keep checking back and see if there are people that you wanna work with. Um, all righty then, I will see you again soon. Bye everyone.